Hi, beautiful Pisces. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, Pisces, we're going to do things a little bit different here today. I'm going to cut out the extended of this reading. There's no part one, part two. There's just a fuller version here on YouTube, completely free for you. Um, and the reason for that, I'll tell you all about it at the very end of this reading. So I hope that's going to be a little bit of a happy surprise for some of you guys. We're going to move into your, um, your reading, which is mid-August until mid-September. And we just had the full moon in Aquarius leading up to the full moon or rather harvest moon uh, of Pisces of your sign. So there's strong energies working in your favor right now. And I'm, I'm going to say also the full moon in Pisces leading up to the full moon in, in um, um, then coming up in October. So we now have like August to September, September until October. So there's like a, it was like a three month period here of just really fruitful harvest uh, like like coming to fr real fruition uh, type of benefits here and specifically when you're a sign that's in those like it's really good for all of us but your Pisces smack in the middle of that having a full moon in your sign it's the harvest moon in Pisces so that's definitely gonna affect for sure so we're gonna start with an underlying current underlying energy here for that entire entire time period of mid August until mid September, so Pisces, starting with uh, moving forward, get ready for positive change. I love this. Moving forward, get ready for positive change. Coming out of some perhaps stalemate, coming out of stagnation, coming out of hermit mode. We're going to get into that's that's the underlying energy and we're going to get all the cards on the table and then we're going to start to really get into the messages so pisces we'll tell pisces what's going on mid-august until mid-september so the first one that jumped out king of gabriel keep your eyes on the prize keep your eyes on the big picture and then we have the sun wow sun card Number 19 there, beautiful, most gorgeous card in the deck. Uh, Page of Ariel talks about turning. There's 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 news coming in, there's new energy coming in, like turning the page on this situation. There's a lot of, it can be new information in your field. Like we're, get, we're gonna get into the, to the energy when we get there. I feel like there was at least one more. And change your perspective, the hangman, number 12. And we want to clarify these. And then just getting into the messages in a moment. What do you want to tell Pisces with this energy, please? Fulfillment of wishes. Fulfillment of wishes. Just really effortlessly jumped out there. Fulfillment of wishes, number nine together with wow um the sacral chakra with number two and two there is balance together with balance with 11 which we never because numerology wise 11 22 and 30 33 like we never add those up if 11 comes out it's 11 it's not reduced to a two, to a two if 22 comes out you never reduce that to a four numerology wise that is of course you can you're free to do whatever you want but like numerology wise this is an 11 and you don't mess with that but because we have two in the sacral uh chakra and then two is all about the balance there um and we have the balance card within two number one like i'm willing to sort of make a little like okay there might be a lot to the that is also talking not just by being a portal or stepping into something new, but we're really, really talking about the two there. And I have to say, we're just sort of very, very subtly just passed through my brain it was a dream. Um, so I just want to say for some of you guys, really pay atten attention to your dreams right now, like your dream state. What what are you being shown in your dream state right now? And I don't mean like the daydreaming, I mean during your night. is like, uh, and preferably even write them down because it's like you, you forget so fast what you dreamt about and you think you're going to remember later, but then you don't. So just 
if you want to, you can keep a dream journal like right by your bed. You can even wake up during the night and dream something and just write it down as clearly as you can. I've done that mistake a couple of times. You wake up and it's like, oh, <laughs> I have no idea what it says. So just try to write as good as you can. Or even have your, if, depending on who's sleeping next to you in your, in your room, like if you have your phone, you can just record it. Just quickly say, I want to remember this and this, you know. And it practice your dream memory. Practice you just becoming better and better and better to to remember your dreams. So people saying I'm not dreaming, I don't I don't buy that because I just think that it's just you're not in tune with your dreams. And there's so much information there. Okay, so we're starting again with this. Um, just saw something else there. We're going to get into those energies as we get there. Uh, moving forward, um, get ready for positive change. And again, for some reason, I just my eyes just fell on the clock with 555. So 555 for me is there's, there's been a struggle to move forward. There's, you might not know um, like any other thing but obstacles. Like you're a really good problem solver. You're really good at like dealing with things and working things out. But to just, when you have it really easy, it's almost like, hmm, what should I do now? Like, I don't know what to do with my time because it's so easy and like you're not used to being that ease. So I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to demand a little bit of preparation on your part to just feel more comfortable with easy and already solved things than constantly have something to deal with, if that makes sense. Um, and also... Uh, I wanted to say, it, it feels a little bit like a collective reading because this is now very, very similar. The feel here is very similar to Aquarius. But I feel with these full moons tying into each other this time around are very like s similar in the energies. Like the Aquarian energy and the Piscean energy there is like, it's very similar. Um, so yeah, um, if you want to check out the Aquarius reading as well because... It's, it was a lot about preparing for the next stage, preparing for the next level as well. And here's like moving forward and get ready for positive change. That's the underlying current for you. That is like what we're looking at for you to bring with you to just sort of rely on a little bit as you move through mid-August until mid-September. Uh, and then we have the King of Gabriel. And I'm actually going to read from the book. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. King of Gabriel. Sitting on your throne being very, very confident though. Uh, situations. This is all about the big picture. There is a great deal to be done, but your job is to come up with a grand vision. Leave the details to someone else. You can take risks because you have the experience and know how to do so successfully. Those around you expect and want you to take the lead. Let your enthusiasm and natural charm shine through. Creativity is the key to a successful endeavor. So the first part, there's a little bit more here, but the first part is so much about like stepping up to the plate, really, um, I don't know necessarily if it's like really taking a risk, but it's like you if there's any sort of hesitance or on your part to just move forward or to just, I also got a glimpse of like a relationship there that if there's a, if there's a little dance going on between two people and I don't mean necessarily like a tango, but like if there's a little bit of a, if you're interacting with someone right now and you're not fully in a relationship with them and there's, it's just, <coughs> sorry, it's just a little bit of a dance. <clears throat> going on back and forth and I think you know what I mean Pisces specifically you Pisces because you have that type of depth and you you don't even need sort of text messages or emails or just any type of message being sent back and forth uh, physically for you to feel like, like there's a dance do you know what I mean like you can really sense another person's energy and you'll feel if they're on this same like you'll feel if there's a con there's a conversation, even though it might be silent, it might not be silent. It might even be like text messages being flying back and forth, or there's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a connection or a conversation going on with someone, but no one is really like taking a step forward or no one is really like 
fully like connecting in and they're I just feel the sense of that they're waiting on you to be the bigger person they're waiting on you for whatever reason they might not be a they might don't don't want to like invade your space or they might not be want to be too pushy or they don't might not want to come across as like needy or like you should just give your space or the first whatever reason they want you to take the first like to make the first move or to just be really bold and so if you if you're hesitant in this or like if this is a situation that is just like this for you they're waiting on the other end there for you to make that move and, and you can do so for sure it's going to really turn out well for you and if this is not a romantic partnership you might not look for that you might not want that uh you might already be in one this might be that you're um having a connection to someone or something that can be a job opportunity can be something um just to engage in a in a small group like a, a community of some sort uh coming together with like-minded people like in a spiritual sense in the like whatever that is for you that you might have been asked to join or you might have like even like something has sparked your interest and and people are thinking about you but you might feel like mm, I, don't, I don't know should I in, engage in that should I really be part of that or should I just sort of they don't seem overly eager for me to sort of jump on board in this or like if they want me at this job, shouldn't they be more like coming after me? And it's just something about the energy here that is like, it's for you to just step up and say, hey, I'm interested. I want to be a part of this. And as soon as you voice that, they're going to be so happy on the other end. I hope this makes sense. Okay, moving on. I have the, uh, it says people here as well, a magnetic and determined leader. Someone with broad vision who can motivate people to greatness. Inspirational, generous, forceful, uh, ingenious, dramatic, driven, enthusiastic. Pisces, I'm going to read this and you're going to, and you're going to sense if this is you or if this is a person very, very close to you. Uh, Pisces, you're a magnetic and determined leader. Some, you're someone with broad vision who can motivate people to greatness. Uh, you're inspirational, you're generous, you're forceful, you're ingenious, you're dramatic, driven, and enthusiastic. If you don't recognize yourself whatsoever in this, this is a person really, really close to you. Or this is something that makes you like come into these feelings or emotions by something you want to join. Additional meanings of this card is an inventor with morals, an inventor with an investor, an investor, sorry, an investor. I was like, what? Uh, an investor with morals. That's interesting. Uh, genuine concern for the welfare of all. Uh, setting it an example, unexpected money. So there's, there's this, I just feel this opportunity here. There's an opportunity to be grabbed. And it's for you to sort of take up and get up and take it. We already have the um, um, what do you say indication. Like we're moving forward and get ready for positive change. And this might be the in the connection I felt with Aquarius. There, this might be the connection, like to prepare yourself to go for something. Like obviously, don't don't go for something or don't put yourself out there or like let someone else know that you're interested or know that you want to jump on board and whatever that is unless you feel prepared for it if you if you feel like really under under prepared and under like you don't feel confident or like there's certain things that you want to practice or certain things that you want to deal with with yourself before sort of really making this connection then please do so. Of course, don't put yourself out there if you really, really feel like you're just not ready. But this energy indicates that you are and like you might even need a little bit of a nudge, like get ready for positive change and also have that like positive outlook to just, okay, if there's a positive change coming up, I might start to prepare myself a little bit and just have that vision like instead of like nothing really is going on nothing's happening 
where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? Like I'm asking for things and I don't like, where, where is it? Nothing's happening. You know, it's a mindset. Okay. Coming into the sun. I'm going to read out of the book again. Okay. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking is exactly what we just said. And inspiring success. There's something about you being the underdog, Pisces. There might even be people not recognizing who you are and what you're capable of. You, you might even question that yourself. And it's like there, there's this situation. It might even be like, okay, so you will never have a successful relationship. You always have failed relationship. Like when are you ever going to settle down? Or like when are you ever going to find... You might have settled down a long time ago and it just feels like you can just not keep keep a relationship that is healthy and sane. Um, or it's like something like, um, you know, you talk about these big dreams and you talk about these opportunities and you talk about going for these job situations. Um, you talk about this, all these grand experiences, but it's, uh, it sort of falls short or it just, yeah, they felt through this time again. And people around you are like a little bit like, oh, yeah, it's probably not going to happen to the point where you start to question yourself a little bit as well. So it's, it's almost like you're surprising the people around you and even yourself when you finally get that so successful relationship. It's just so successful or or you land that like the role of a lifetime. You land that grand or great opportunity because you sort of you sort of realized something or it came to, it's, it's, it's a phrase I'm giving, came to. <laughs> That's almost like someone's been a little bit unconscious and then you came to again, uh, or like you fainted and then you came to that expression. It's like in that realization, it's like, oh my God, here's what I'm supposed to do. And you sort of go for it and it, it surprises people around you and it might even surprise yourself. We're going to read uh, for the sun, 19... Life is wonderful. Great things are headed your way. Uh, and your plans will succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Yes, and even other people's expectations of you. Uh, keep your thoughts and words positive and you will thrive. Believe in yourself and those around you during this magical time in your life. Archangel Uriel brings brilliant epiphanies to those who ask for this help, for his help. Inspiring new ideas lead the way to abundance and happiness. Public recognition or uh, awards are also very possible during this time. Additional meanings of this card is happiness and trustworthy relationship. Trustworthy relationship. Um, understanding oneself and personal satisfaction. So it's so much about like just... It is so much about exactly what we just said. Like finding your way being put in a situation where like you might have asked for it and you might have reached for it and you might have wished for this gorgeous relationship for this gorgeous opportunity to join a group of like-minded people um whatever that is for you and now it's coming about and it's gonna sort of knock your socks off not even you sort of you asked for it but even if you did you didn't see it coming and, and this good in this fashion. A page of Ariel there and page is all about news. Like there is some news coming in there that is going to be very beneficial for you. Ariel is all about manifestation and love. And we already had the manifestations here. Like get it ready for positive change. And with the sun card, we have fulfillment of wishes. Uh, there is a change in love and manifestation. And this can also be like you're just adding on information to your already situation. Like you just, that's when I said when like, a, okay, so maybe don't, don't reach out to this person. If there's like a little rendezvous taking place between two people uh, and it's not really coming to fruition, it's not really happening, but they're there. And I just said, you know, don't throw yourself out there if you feel completely uncomfortable and not ready for this at all. But this page of Ariel uh, is sort of saying like, here's the rest of the information that you need to gain the confidence in order to contact, contact this person. Or like, here's the rest of the information, like the rest of the um, energy, insight, uh, literal information, 
for you to proceed and go forward with whatever, like to just sort of apply for that job or say yes to this group of friends to reach out to this person to this romantic partnership like you're just gathering more information and getting the information that you need so that you can move on so you can turn the page and get what you want and there's awesome opportunities there coming your way we have the hangman which is there's a better way pause for reflection and insight dare to be different so while I do this while I do this reading, there's like a, almost like a parallel with Aquarius. So if you feel like you are drawn to Aquarius, I should check that reading out as well if I were you. Um, we're, ch we're changing the perspective. I don't feel like you're stuck, Pisces, necessarily. Maybe Aquarius was a little bit more stuck, feeling like I don't know which direction to move in. As for Pisces, I feel like you're you're already sort of in a flow and you already know like what path to take and what route to take perhaps i don't know if that's a right the, the route but like the road <laughs> you know what i mean um it feels like it's already somewhat flowing for you it's it's it, the the change your perspective it's almost like you know when you're when you go through life and you experience certain things and you sort of look back in the rear mirror and it's in hindsight or it's in uh, it's in with a little bit more of like a um, distance from a situation when you look back you you have already changed your perspective does that make sense it's like it's not this all this usually comes out saying okay so we need to change the perspective here you need to come from a different direction or you need to look at this differently in order for you to move forward I feel like you, because of the energies that are already here and because of the journey, I feel like it's not stagnant. There's no, there's no stagnation here. It's rather movement. And because it is, it's like, I just feel like coming out on the other side of this or coming through this or having the manifestation that you're seeking or like reaching out to whomever this is, there's, there's going to be a hindsight perspective there's going to be like a realization rather that oh my god I really changed my perspective there like I this change that has happened has happened over time because of your shift okay we have these three clarifying we have fulfillment of wishes and again, I'm supposed to read out of the book, okay? And we have the balance card in the, so in the solar, not at all, the sacral, uh, sacral energy center. These two are just so much about like your passion, your creativity, your sexuality, your life force, your like wh where you want to go in this life, what, what drives you, where do you find the passion and just motivate yourself to get more into that. Find balance within your creativity that's what's really fueling your life that's that's where you come that's where you come in with the fuel for sure does that make sense like moving forward getting ready for positive change yes you can do that all day but why do you do that because you're finding the things that interest you you're you're balancing your solar no i said wrong i said that wrong again so maybe the solar plexus plays a big part in this as well um worthiness confidence manifestations moving forward the way that you want to but the sacral is what i'm trying to say um your purpose your creativity like as you find it's like as you find what you want to do you're going to find direction as you find direction you find what you're going to do as you uh, go through the situation, you're going to have a change of perspective, but it because, it's because of a change of perspective that you're in a new situation. It's like one gives the other. There's, a, there's sort of an interesting paradoxical situation going on here. Um, fulfillment of wishes number nine. Green border. Red border. There you go. A little bit itchy. Fulfillment of 
for Middle Wishes. This card being one, if not the most positive of the Minor Arcana cards, represent, represents emotional satisfaction, contentment, and enjoyment. Your wishes are coming true. Are you ready? Get ready for positive change. Are you ready? Uh, happiness, success, good health, completion, and, accom and accomplishment of your dreams and goals are in the realm of your hand. No, I'm making stuff up. Are in the not realm, but in the palm of your hand, obviously. Happiness, success, good health, happiness, success, good health, completion, and accomplishment of your dreams and goals are in the palm of your hand. This card acts as a reminder to hold on to the beneficial feelings from accepting and receiving that you're asked that you've asked or strived for. Know that these will assist you in the future when you may need inspiration and positive energy. This is a right time to heal those past memories that you have holding that you have been holding um, that have been holding you hostage. Forgive others and yourself so that you your wishes, desire, desires, and goals have a clear, unobstructed path to your heart, soul, and life. So there's just a just the tiniest. I just feel with this balance and just finding the balance in your sacral energy center. I said the right thing. Um, it's just the only thing. Like it's asking for that balance so that you can start to forgive the past or just really put the past to rest so that we can come into, like you can start to really receive all this abundance and receive all these beautiful shift and changes for you. The wish fulfillment is here like it's already here for you to grab hold of do are you doing that like are you getting re ready for that do you prepare for that or is like like it says like you're you're asking for it but then then it's like quite like oh my god is it is it even gonna happen but it is and it's happening in a mind-blowing way we're gonna ask michael to just sum it up michael do you want to add Anything to Pisces here, please. Wow. Get three cards. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. Focus upon divine and perfect health. And your home is protected by angels. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. So whatever this is, and if you feel like a little bit like... I don't know if I should contact that person. I don't know if I should reach out to that group and be a part of that group. Uh, shouldn't they have contacted me more if they wanted me there? Should I reach out and really apply for that job? Um, whatever this is, ask Archangel Michael to help you with the situation. So just find that clarity, find that balance, find that courage. And then we have focus on... Uh, upon divine and perfect health and here i want to read the prayer god and archangel michael or whoever you want to pray to uh, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being so there's something here to really take care of yourself to really nurture yourself and really listen to what your body is asking for and that can be both in terms of what the body wants um, in terms of exercise so if you've been like lifting weights for the longest time and your body's really asking for just taking walks or the opposite, if, you're, if your body just wants to move in a different way, to just listen to what the body wants and with the same with diet or, and, and to also understand that you're not going to be like on a diet for the rest of your life. Your body's asking for different things every single day. So there's something about like fo really focus on positive health and well-being and then of course then listen to the body to what the body is asking for to put you in that well-being it seems to have a lot to do with this balance to find that inner balance within yourself as well that can be like listening to when you need to go to sleep it can even be listening to, to to the body when it wants to wake up we just take for granted maybe perhaps i don't know i know i'm that way in the morning that like <gasps> if i have some extra time it's just nice to lay here but the body might actually want to get up um, it seems to be a really good thing there to focus on your health because the overall being, the overall 
you know, just feeling healthy is going to put you on such a good track here, good path. Uh, your lot, your home is protected by angels. I just feel this. Um, although your home is protected by angels, I just feel like this path forward right now. I um, I don't know, Pisces, if you've been feeling a little bit like not left out, but like um. Uh, is it safe to move forward? Is it like, am I doing the craziest thing to jump into this new thing and sort of let go of another job? Uh, is it crazy for me to engage with these people, with uh, whatever is at hand, whatever is like you're stepping now into, you might feel like, is this the safest path? Is, is this the highest good of all? Like, just know that your angels are, the, the, it's the angels that are, asking you to move forward the angels are really guiding you and you are provided and protected at this time it's safe to move forward with whatever you know focus wish fulfillment wish of fulfillment that is for you okay that's what I have for you Pisces and before we go I want to tell you that the reason I cut out the extension or the part two of these readings is because I am now at least for a while going to offer personal readings to you private readings and I just can't do both and um, I hope that's exciting news to some of you guys it's my it's my day job it's going to be my day job so don't don't sort of shy away from it I need you guys to <laughs> to want to do to do this or I can't continue with this channel so um don't be afraid if this is something you really want then i ask you to come forward and all you need to know about it is is in the description box down below okay so maybe i see some of you guys there uh other than that thank you so much for coming here watching these videos with me i really appreciate it thank you so much guys bye